homebrewing methods and we want to give you some recipes and awesome ways to do that. Uh, today we're actually going to be talking about making an espresso martini. Okay, so first I'd really like to thank my friend Lexi for letting me be in her home this evening. And um, I'm actually going to be talking to her a lot about coffee in general because do you know anything about coffee, Lexi? Nothing about coffee. I'm not a coffee drinker. <laughs> okay, awesome. So this is a really good place for her to start and for you guys out there to start too. Um, so the espresso martini obviously has espresso in it. And a lot of people want to know the difference between espresso and a brewed coffee. The only difference really is that when you do espresso, you're going to be grinding your coffee very, very fine, and it's the brew method that you're using. So normally, we would be using an espresso machine to produce that really small but uh, flavorful cup of coffee, and we're not doing that today because we don't have an espresso machine here at our house, but we do have something that you can pick up locally here in Alexandria, or you can order online, and that's a mocha pot. This is a mocha pot. So what would be your next um, guess at what we're gonna do? Put the espresso in the <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the espresso is going to go in this guy. And you can see that it's got little holes in there and those are for the filter so that um, you don't get loose ground coffee in your drink. And then we're going to put water in here the espresso or the coffee is going to push through and come up into this portion right here. So we are going to pour a hot, almost right off boil water into the mocha pot just about under halfway through or halfway. All right. And then we're going to add the espresso. And when you put it in here, you kind of just want to make sure that it's level and even, like that. I think so. All right, so we've got our espresso. It's in the mocha pot still. We took a small break and we got some ice for our shaker, opened up all of our liquor, and we're ready to go. All right. So the first thing that we're going to do, and I'm going to let you do something. So we're going to pour um, two shots of the vodka, and you can use whatever your favorite vodka is. Okay, so Louisiana rice vodka. You can get it at Hocus? Yeah, we got it at Hocus Pocus. We want to give a shout out to them. Thank you so much, you guys. And remember to shop local. Perfect. Okay. And then we're going to do um, one ounce of the Baileys. So one shot. Or not one ounce, one shot, sorry. All right, and we're gonna do half and half of a shot of the vanilla. We're gonna add the Tarani syrup, and this is what we use in the shop to flavor your lattes, so that's gonna be really awesome. tasty. Also wanna thank um, Southern Chic for my amazing hat that I got today. And today is actually a 318 day. You guys are watching this on 319, but we really appreciate Southern Chic and everything that they do as well. All right, sweet. So you're a newbie to coffee, so we're going to just add what we made in the mocha pot. You can add more or less depending on how caffeinated, caffeinated you want to be. <laughs> coffee and it's good. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching and remember that right now you can still go to the shop and pick up to-go bags of coffee so you can make this martini at your house and we are still taking takeout and to-go orders and you can call us at 318-448-0111. Thanks, bye!